Hi, so today I feel a little bit spendy. I want to shop, I want to buy a lot of things, but at the same time, I do know I don't need anything. In order to not unnecessarily spend a lot of money that I will end up shoved in a drawer and forget about for years and declutter anyways, I thought I might as well just do a window shopping, but online on the online website so i would still get the joy out of shopping but i'm not spending money because for me 80 percent of the joy of shopping is actually browsing the items so i feel like that process alone will give me some sort of satisfaction so i'm still shopping but i'm not spending any money. And I thought it would be interesting to show you because the three websites are all Japanese websites. Well, one of the websites is just a brand, so like you can basically shop that brand at anywhere, but two of the three are basically, I think, exclusively to Japan. And I just find it might be interesting to show you what Japanese people actually shop at even though i'm not japanese but i do know these are the websites that that local japanese people shop a lot at the three websites here are this one it's called at cosme shopping and it's basically a like a beauty shopping website and you can consider this as a conjunction of the allure ranking and Sephora. So this at Cosme is a very famous like beauty ranking website and it's like as famous as um, the um, Allure beauty. I, I don't know. I That's the only beauty ranking that I ever heard in Western countries like in America. So I think that's the closest thing and imagine if Allure had a shop like Sephora and they will um, basically sell everything that was on the rankings and that's basically it that's basically what this website is so instead of like sephora only luxury items this website basically has i think maybe 80 percent or even 90 percent of the best selling products beauty product in Japan. Only very, very few brands that don't sell things here. So the other one is Sozo Town. I aware this website probably is available outside of Japan as well, but I do believe that the version of the website is like different. It's probably the same company doing another separate website calling the same name on like overseas countries. That's my understanding of this. So the actual content, like the items on the website, I think it's different here in Japan than in other countries. And the third is just Uniqlo. Like I, I just love shop either. I feel like it's a reasonable price and decent quality that I don't need to like buy an item just wear once or one season and the items are unwearable that barely happen and it lasts four years most of the part these are the three websites we are gonna look at today okay uh let's look at what's the new arrival section they have a 20 percent point back campaign of sk2 but I, I don't really like this brand. Their product don't really work for me for some reason. Even though they are like very popular or like they are the oldie but goodie products. But yeah, I have tried several things like including the very famous facial treatment essence, I believe. That thing doesn't work for me. So yeah, that's not my favorite brand. And this, this looks interesting. This brand called Sabon. It's not a Japanese brand, but this brand is one of the very best selling body care products in Japan, like were body care brands in Japan. And I love 
I love their items, and it seems they had, they are having a like new, maybe limited edition collection, and it's jasmine, I think, wonders of jasmine, yeah. And this is my favorite thing of this brand. This, no, this is a hair mask. <laughs> my favorite thing is like the similar packaging of this, so. Is different now. Uh, um, my favorite is their body lotion. Do they not have a body lotion? This is body milk, so a little bit different. Well, I want a shower gel as well, but I do still have shower gel, so I don't actually need it, but I want it. Um, what is this? Mineral powder. What is mineral powder? Is it like body scrub or something like that? I feel like this brand is not only good for like self use usage. I think it's only I think it's also good for like gifting. Like the their packaging are so like cute and it's a very luxury brand. Like you can see the price is up there. So just give you a reference. Let's the body scrub is $33 a jar. Not super super luxury, but definitely not affordable, right? And their body butter is a little bit more expensive, so like 35 or 33 for 35 or 36. So yeah, the product is not affordable. I don't think the price is nice for gifting and even for self usage. I think it's like a nice price range for like a luxury experience like their scent is so good this hand cream looks nice i mean for a high-end product the price is not too high it's probably around like 11 12 dollars for one tube 30 ml and as long as the um scent is good i think it might be worth it and i love jasmine um let's see hmm I'm gonna put this into car because I am really interested in this collection and this shower oil. I think the only shower oil ha I have ever used is the Luxtone almond oil or something like that and I really liked it. And I feel like for this brand, it's quite a luxury brand and 300 mils for this price is not too expensive. Let's put that into a cart as well. But what the world is this mineral powder? Mineral powder wonders. What? And this is all this marketing stuff, like saying about the scent, nothing about the function. Oh, it's hair mask and body care. What? <laughs> so what? what is this? And it's also saying bath powder. What? What in the world is this? What? This is a bath salt? That's the best guess I'm, I'm gonna get from this product. It's probably a bath product. I hate when like brands do this. Like they don't put the category, what category this product belongs to in the packaging. Like what are you gonna do with the name mineral powder? Like that could mean a million things and nothing at the same time. But I mean like the the price is not super expensive, like $20. And this is all with tax, so there's no added tax. I think not so long ago, the law here in Japan has changed. Every price you see at store, at restaurant, at everywhere in Japan, they have to tell you the price, including the tax. So all of these are including the tax, and I think that's not too bad. Let's also put this body milk because I don't think their body lotion, body cream, body butter, whatever, the whole like line of their body care products are just so good. This is a perfume. The packaging looks fire, but I think with perfume, first is I don't really wear perfume. Um, second of all, I feel like I get sick of scents super quickly, so I'm also not the right person to purchase any perfume. And this is their daily like bestseller ranking. And you know what? All of these are 
pretty much all I don't want to say old, but they are definitely old product that has been launched for years, like even decades maybe. Like things like this or this this SK two facial essence thing, they are definitely over a decade. Oh, this is new, newly arrived. Oh, this is their yearly limited edition powder. It's from the brand Maquillage. It's under the Shiseido umbrella. It's like mid-end priced brand. Their price is often, let's say, like a foundation, like twenty or five dollars, or a little bit cheaper than that, from twenty to twenty-five dollars. That's their price range. This is a little bit more expensive because, first of all, this is a limited edition, and it's one. I believe it's one compact with two refill of powder. If I'm not misunderstanding, oh no, they they have changed. I think before they have two like refills, but now they only just have one. But they do have twenty five gram of powder, which is not bad. I think this is just their premium limited edition product they do every year. And they do this like super detailed, like cute packaging every year. But I'm not super interested. The formula is not my favorite. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite kind of formula. I do. I'm interested in this line of little eyeshadow quad. This is from the brand Bisse. And the one that I am interested is. I'm not sure. It's it's a purpley. I mean, it's a cool tone one. I'm not sure if it's. This one, it doesn't look like it. I feel like I have to look at this in the store because I forgot which one I was interested. It's a cool tone one, and it's like a taupe color with a hue of silver and purple, and it's like very beautiful palette. And this brand, their eyeshadows are always a little bit. The formula is al almost like wet. It's like a. Like in between powder and cream, and most most time they will say they have like skincare things in their um, formula. But yeah, since I don't know, I I don't remember which one I wanted because these these pictures sometimes can be a little bit misleading. But I'm pretty sure this is probably the one. Like this this color. I think that's the color that made me interested into this formula. Um, let's look at other things.、Mm, this looks cute, but I'm not super interested. <laughs> oh, and this this brand, this brand House of Rose, um, their brand is like a very very best one of the best seller body care brands as well. This is their、uh, like the most best-selling product, which is their body scrub, which I have used before. I think if you like, if you don't like the super aggressive body scrub, you want more of gentle one. I think this one could be nice. My skin do feel like super super soft after using this product, and it's not super expensive, like this price. Twenty dollars, like sixteen, seventeen dollars for like five hundred and seventy grams of body scrub. It's not bad at all, and this is a like a limited edition thing. But I feel like right now I don't really use body scrub that much, so yeah, not super interested. But I do. What is this body soap? Hmm. This looks nice. Um, this is saying they'll remove odor and sweat from your skin, which I don't even know why they put that as marketing point. Because what body soap don't do that? Like they don't remove odor and your your sweat from your skin. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really understand that marketing point. And I believe they had a. Full section. Oh, it's here. It's here. It's the、um, new arrival section. The thing with their this page is the same item. Every single shade will show as a separate.
page here. So it's literally one item can take up like half of the page, making it a little bit harder browsing. Not what I'm interested. Oh, this looks delicious. This is probably a face mask. Hard Live Magua Booster Mask. This literally are all English, just written in Japanese. <laughs> and I do, I'm not sure what this Hard Leaf Magua is, but it's like a booster mask, which I think the booster usually just means soften and moisturize your skin. Well, I these days I'm not using mask that that much as well. Um, and believe it or not, the nail brand Sally Hansen also sells in Japan. Th this is their product in Japan. I don't know if they are the same as in the U.S. And these are the, all the things that I'm not super interested. In. This is a gloss. I believe I have used this uh, gloss from this brand. Oh, what is this? It looks... Oh, it's just the packaging. I thought the actual liquid, like the gloss liquid, are this like grayish color. And I thought that that, that was that was new. And this fig beige color. Why is it showing as red? I don't want red. I want the color of this thing, this muted rosy color. Are all of these like bright colors, like super bright colors? Coral pink, coral rose, and coral brown. Let's see coral brown. Why is it like coral brown this color? Are you sure? In what world is this a coral brown? Okay, I'm I'm. <laughs> I give up <laughs> on this gloss. And these are all eyebrow mascaras, like basically eyebrow gel. And the interesting thing in Japan is they will make like pinky purpley eyebrow gel and eyebrow powders and people are and people actually use that. And it's not like a very very bright purple or pink. Um maybe let's look at this example. This is like a ashy pink. So it's like a very soft version. And I find even though I, I don't have the courage to use things like this because I feel like these kind of color can go wrong on my skin tone, my olive skin tone very, very fast. So yeah, I'm not going to try that. But at the um, Japanese side of beauty YouTube community, um, people really these days, this like pinky purpley, like a muted pinky purpley brow gel, brow powder are very, very on trend. And I feel like it looks really, really good on Japanese people because the soft feature and the like slight pinkness and um, purple-ish color just make the color so soft and blend with their face like even better in some way. So yeah, I do think the look is very cute, but I just don't think that is for me. Let's see, there, I think this brand, this brand called Etiose, do you have eyebrow powder that is like, oh no, not this brand. Um, I forgot which brand, but a lot of brands do release those pinky purplish colors. Laura Mercier, I feel like I haven't heard this brand from the Western beauty community for a long time um these are all nails i'm not super interested like a price on nail and what is this it's a painting eyeshadow palette this is beautiful is it like packaging really looks like this well the eyeshadow is kind of like not so interesting <laughs> um but yeah the packaging looks so cute whoa yeah, the packaging looks really, really cute. Well, that's that's um half terrifying and half just art. But yeah, I I, I do do feel like this is very very terrifying. Oh, all of them so. 
beautiful and i feel like these are probably just existing art that they are using right there's literally not much description the the introduction <laughs> basically blend the colors into a uh, ombre in your crease that's the only introduction they're giving okay let's see the customers pick well i do think the actual eyeshadows look just okay i'm more interested into um seeing the actual packaging this is including the packaging oh is this just the box because this must be showing the like outside box. I don't want the like the actual palette just looks like a very plain packaging. Isn't this just looks like an outside box? Or is that like there's no closure here and you have to use this part to close it? And it's like a cover. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit suspicious. I feel like things like this better to check what the actual like packaging look like in in store like in real life yeah but that's that's interesting the brand is i don't i don't know how to pronounce this brand milafi i don't know looks like korean brand but i'm not sure i feel like because like i mentioned they literally make a separate page for every single shade every single variation it just makes browsing a, a little bit tedious let's change to the category like every time i'm just so like interested to see the sunscreens i don't know why <laughs> i feel like i have addiction and also every time i just look at this ranking let me set to best-selling um order look at this ranking most best-selling thing are this price for a sunscreen like excuse me almost 42 dollars for a single tube of sunscreen that you are gonna use up super quickly if you do use it every day i think somebody said one gram for each time if you are just using on your face is enough amount so if you would use this every day it only lasts you for like 40 days so one dollar a day just for a sunscreen i don't think i am bougie like that i feel like foundations or things like that that actually last longer i can go with this price because for me i do use foundation like very sparingly like a 30 gram foundation can last me if, even if i use it every day i think it can last me well over like half a year at least but yeah like i i don't think i'm that bougie to use a 42 dollar sunscreen like sunscreens or shampoo like body like shower gels things like that never buy anything too expensive and this clay de po, um sunscreen like 80 on the 80s 80 something dollars it's a little bit too crazy i feel like this practice press tag and every time i look at this ranking i just feel like is japanese people rich like <laughs> see this top 12 rankings like other than this two other than this two that's like a moderately in a more affordable price every single one they are high-end products like extremely expensive ones are at the top and this is the best selling order so like the most expensive ones are selling the best they they must be rich for me this is the price that i'm gonna pay at the most for sunscreens and i actually do like this formula and i have used this one in my my last or the one before the video the project pan for 2023 video and i do like this they do um adjust their formula every single year and i have used their at least use up two in the past years and i really really liked it it just leaves a little bit white cast no like very like not very dramatic white cast just a little bit which i can i can bear 
I can't stand that. And their formula is just like they set on your skin, not too greasy. I don't really like those super greasy sunscreens. And it does not disturb your makeup. Your makeup laying smoothly and beautifully on top of it. And it's like a super large tube, like 90 gram of product. And it's like 20 something dollars. So I feel like it's kind of worth it. Or like maybe I should say it's definitely worth it. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. If you are lighter, your skin tone are lighter than medium, I do think you can use this. But if your skin tone are a little bit deeper, on the deeper side, like more than medium skin tone, I think you should um, pay attention. Interested in this, definitely swatch before you buy. And let's, maybe let's put a uh, Price filter. Let's put 3500 And this look um, a little bit more reasonable to me. And this this one is from the brand Decrete, which is definitely a very, very luxury brand. But this price I think I can accept because first of all, how much dollar is this? It's about $25. And this one does has tint so they they also has shades and i believe i have tried this one or swatched this one um in the store and this shade is a pretty good shade for me personally and i feel like this is like a good sunscreen and tinted moisturizer in one kind of thing and the coverage is not like a heavy coverage just like slightly adjust your skin tone kind of thing so I do feel like even if you put enough amount on your face as, sun, as sunscreen, you won't be like seeing it like as a super thick layer because there's just not that much um, pigment into it. So I feel like these kind of product for this price, I can, I can actually understand because it's also like a makeup item. I might actually buy it someday, but not right now. Not right now. Um, and these are just the same brand that I just spoken about. The uh, the brand Ali. Their sunscreen are very very um, popular here in Japan, and I believe this is their new like sunscreen cream blush, which is kind of a very gimmicky concept because why do you only need like sun protection on this area you obviously want an even layer all across your face right but yeah for the people that want to layer and even though i really want to try it even though i i said i think it's a gimmick product but my my concern is will this be those skincare slash makeup thing that actually gives you nothing like nearly nothing because for blush i want it to be at least somewhat pigmented i don't want to get nothing on my face and especially for this kind of formula if i am already putting on foundation is putting this thing on top gonna make my foundation move around i think i have to try that in store to actually know what kind of formula it is. Oh, I actually once used up a tube of this. This is the brand Ayura. It's also a brand that is very um, popular for their body care product and their packaging are very cute. And this one is like a cooling gel, which actually I'm not really, not really a fan of. But if you're in the summer, you hate like the hot summer morning and you want something refreshing and cooling on the face, this one can give you that. It's not like too strong of a cooling f effect, but it does, it, it's there. It's, it feels like when your skin is wet and you go outside and there is cold wind blow on your face. That's how it feels. Um, not my favorite, but... I do think somebody will um like somebody will like it and the and the rating is pretty nice. Yeah, these are their packaging. Like how cute this is. 
this is meditation nighttime perfume, <laughs> which I I don't even know what that is. Like only for meditation at night. It's a brand for the vibes, right? Like the packaging are so cute. Um, yeah, I just love their packaging, but their products are just like I don't know, not bad, but definitely not the most great in my opinion. But I do feel like. It's very nice for like a gift, and yeah, nothing to interest. I feel like the、um, Japanese sunscreen products is if they push out one product and that product、um, like is very successful, they will just. Keep、um, releasing, re-releasing that product every year, and giving it a slightly different packaging and update the formula a little bit. A lot of times, when I seeing these rankings, most product already existed for years. Oh, this part, this can make mermaid skin gel UV. This one I actually used up one in the past, and I really liked it. I believe it was、um, a, it has a little bit, a tiny bit of white cast, but not strong at all. And I do want to try their. They have a like green mint green version. I think it this one is it. This might actually be one of the only product that I will purchase、um, today, or maybe not. Maybe not today.、Um, Like recent days. Oh, and this one is actually a product I wanted to try for a long time. I used up. Yeah, it. I think it's it's this one. This is one of their best-selling sunscreens. It has. It's like a multi-purpose product. It's your moisturizer, and your sunscreen two in one in the morning. And it's like a very glowy product. It also has a like brightening effect. The skincare part of it is hydrating and brightening.、Um, and I, I feel like it's okay. It's hard to tell is if it actually does brighten my face while I was using it. But yeah, as sunscreen, it does work. I don't think I will repurchase it anytime soon. Let's look at. Foundations, like the foundation category, is one category that I don't quite understand. Because other than this, this one, this is the Clay de Pau cushion foundation. All of these things on the best-selling rankings are always foundations from other countries, like or brands from other countries. This is Laura Mercier, and I believe. This is a cream brand, and this is Dior, and this is just the same foundation, the same clay de pau. And I also feel like the reason clay de pau foundation is here because it's a relatively newer release. So maybe giving it some time, it will like the ranking will like be like down a little bit. Even look a little bit further is like Nars. Same cream brand YSL, Nars, Dior, like Lancome, and only this one, Ipsa is a、uh, is a Japanese brand. So I feel like, even though I feel like Japanese foundations are very very great, I really really love their foundation formula. I just don't feel like their foundations are appreciated by their own people. <laughs> Like they are all purchasing brands from other country, which really this this is a thing that I never understand. Like every time I want to go here to look at some like Japanese foundation to like try, most time I just the top things are all Western brands, or like mostly Western brands. And this is a、uh, one of the foundation that I wanted to try for a long time. Is there a long-lasting liquid foundation? Which, by this name, you might feel like it's a full coverage matte foundation, but it actually is a very, very sheer tinted moisturizer kind of formula. 
and it's like the bearskin kind of finish, which it's my favorite kind of foundation. I just feel like the price is a, a little bit up there. Let's see how much it is. Um, it's seventy-five dollars. So, yeah, that's that's the reason why I haven't tried it yet. Like I buy Suku foundation, which is about the same price, but at the same time, I have already tried Suku foundation for. Like or used Suku foundation for a long time. I know their formula and I know I will like it. But this brand is it's first of all it's hard to find their counter, so it's hard to try in real life. So I feel like I kind of have to just rely on the online swatch and review. And basically, if I bought it and tried it and it's not my thing. $75 is just wasted. So yeah, that's the reasons why I'm hesitant to try this foundation. Yeah, the other ones are all like still Laura Mercier and NARS and only like one shoe rimmer and one like clay de po. So yeah, every time I want to, I'm looking for some inspiration. This ranking just never gives me the inspiration because they are all Western brands. Which there's nothing wrong with Western brand foundations, obviously, but I am going here, a Japanese beauty website. I want to see some like Japanese foundations. A little bit disappointed <laughs> every time. Like now maybe let's look at some blush. Let's look at what's the best selling blushes. Oh, the Addiction Blushes. I have tried this in the past. It's a nice formula. I don't think it's the best, but it's like a very, very up there um, nice formula. Mm, they're, they're all pretty cute. Oh, this this shade. This shade looks, looks pretty. It's like a spring kind of, not too cool-toned pink. This look very appealing to me. Let's put in our cart. Um, and their purple ones looks also very appealing as well. Oh, Shiseido blush. Mm, nothing too interesting. Let's look at some lip gloss. I use up lip gloss very, 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 very quickly. And it's the Fujiko um, gloss we have looked before. And Clarence Bobby Brown to wear. Uh, Fujiko again. And Clay de Po. Oh, this looks interesting. And I believe this brand is not a Japanese brand. I believe this is either a Chinese brand or a Korean brand. Is this the finish? This is gloss? This Isn't this like a liquid lipstick? Well, I'm here for the um, hydrating lip glosses, so no. Lip liner ink duo from Shiseido. What is this? Lip liner and what is this? What is this side? Let's look at the description. Oh, it's lip primer and lip liner. So you put the primer first to prep your lip and use the lip primer. And use the lip liner. And after that, use the lipstick or lip gloss of your preference. So this is not even a lip gloss. Why is it in the lip gloss category? Oh, this Romant brand is a cream brand but this gloss looks it looks pretty nice it looks like it has some beautiful glitters oh this looks it looks nice let's put it in the cart there is people's swatching which is not very helpful because they look like the same <laughs> They all look the same, even though in the tube it's all different, but it literally all looks the same. 
I guess these are those kind of um, lip glosses. Even the color looks very dark. It just doesn't show up on your lip that much. Yeah, I think it's that kind, which I, I don't hate. I don't hate those as, at all. To be honest, nothing too interested. Let's look at a brand that I really want to try for a long time. Is this brand and Honey. Their packaging are so cute and so appealing. This is their cleansing balm. The price is not too expensive, like under $20 for like 90 grams of cleansing balm. Not too bad. And the packaging is so cute. And as the name says, it's a brand very focused on the ingredient honey. And their like formula really looks like something edible. And this is someone reviewing it. Yeah, it looks like it's removing most of it. I'm really intrigued by this. I'm gonna put this in a cart. And I actually think this is a product that I will buy after I used up um, what I currently have. And um, what is this? Mato make stick? Oh, this is like a stick from hair gel. It's to handle your flyaways. And I don't think I need that because my my hair is already very fine and very short. I don't I don't need things like this but yeah it's nice they have that and this is another stick <laughs> um hair gel sticks which i always every time i see this product i for some reason automatically think it is a eyelash serum i don't know why um and these are all their shampoo i believe they are um first the first product they released are their shampoos and it's like such a heat product and they extend their lines gradually from that. And this is a smooth moisture, like silky smooth moisture hair oil. Oh, it's actually a hair oil. Why, why are their names like this? Like silky is in English and smooth moisture, even though it's um, English, is written in Japanese. Why are they like that? <laughs> but yeah, I don't, my hair is pretty healthy because it's short, obviously, and I don't do anything other than blow dry it. So I, I don't really need hair oil. Let's see this another hair oil and the packaging is just i just love their packaging um and what is this another <laughs> hair oil okay this is a moist moist shine whatever that is this is a conditioner can i have one shampoo because i don't use conditioner as well actually maybe it's wild to say um but i yeah i actually don't use any any conditioner because my hair is like quite oily and it's quite healthy that it doesn't need any conditioner sort of things another hair oil how much hair oil do you have and this is another another hair oil <laughs> Yeah, I feel like if you want to travel to Japan and you want like something hair, you can check out this brand. They have so many varieties. And this is another hair oil. <laughs> another <laughs> hair oil. Oh, finally, finally a shampoo. Um, let's put this into our cart. And I think when I am done with my current shampoo I'm using, which is one liter, very big bottle shampoo. And my hair is short, so it doesn't require that much shampoo every time. So I don't think I'm gonna need this at least two months. Yeah, two months-ish. But after that, I think I'm gonna try this brand. And, oh, this is cleansing oil. I actually, let's put this into our cart as well. And this price for this amount of 
cleansing oil, not bad. And again, I just love their packaging. Like something about honey is just make the product like feel more healthy to you. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the reasons why they choose honey as their main ingredient. Not that not only that it will actually give you benefit, but also it appeals like as like super appealing, healthy and just juicy. Yeah, I think that's the word juicy. And this is hair conditioner, hair mask, another hair mask. Really, if you want hair care product that's affordable and also cute to look at, like when you visit Japan, buy this, this brand and honey. And the good thing is they also sell these little things, little packs. These are the um, basically the one little pack that only that you can use for once, like little samples. And I think you can, let's say you stay in Japan for several days, you can just buy this like in every scent or every finish. Is it is it appropriate to say it's finished? But I, I think you know what I mean. And try it every day to see which one um, you think it is uh, best for you or is it is this brand for you at all um and i feel like hair care product is a category that's quite easy to um see the result right away it's a very nice way to have people to try your product i might i might actually buy some of this it's like 10 mils and 10 gram 10 grams which i think Probably for most people, as long as your hair is not super long, it's gonna be enough. So these like two packaging, two pack ones are shampoo and conditioner. And I believe these four pack ones are shampoo, conditioner, hair mask, and hair oil. So if you want to try them all, buy these like four in one. Okay. I actually want to try this pink shampoo as well because the packaging <laughs> again the packaging is so, it's just so cute and they do offer um, these refill packagings as well so you can save this beautiful bottle and just buy the refills which I love when they do that so that I don't have to throw away the whole packaging every time and you you finish your hair care product relatively quick. This two like every packaging are just so appealing. Like I just love them all. Like this is such a cute little packaging. Like looks so delicious. Like I want to eat it. I want a uh, actual honey that comes into this packaging. Like why are honey not in pumps? Is it because honey is just so thick? Anyway, I'm just going to put this into a card <laughs> because I literally, I truly want them all. And here is their uh, body and hair oil capsule, like little samples that they give you six of these individual ones for you to try, which is very, very nice. And yeah, I think that's for this website. And we ended up with this amount of money, which is about $210. And I think most of these are the and honey <laughs> products. Um, and most of it are the um, like shampoos. I feel like even if I just buy these three at once, it's not gonna be a waste because I eventually am gonna use them all because I never waste any hair shampoo like I just use them use them all but I just don't want to buy this much at once and I have like a big clutter in my home so yeah I'm gonna hold my own word and don't purchase any of this so this is just for the experience purpose 